My name is Nabil Kaptan, and I'm very pleased to introduce to you Jean Gonzalez, a certified public accountant and a tax partner for Gonzalez CPA in Irvine, California. John has over 18 years of experience in taxation, accounting, and he specializes in real estate transactions. John, hello. Hello, Nabil. Thank you for having me. I have some questions for you, and I would like to start with the question, What's a deficiency judgment in relation to a short sale or foreclosure? Let me start off by saying what a deficiency is. A deficiency is when you basically don't have enough money to pay what you had uh, encumbered before. In an example here in the mortgage industry, uh, when you have a mortgage uh, that has a greater amount than the value of the property, you have a deficiency. And therefore, the mortgage company that was owed the money upon a short sale or a foreclosure will not get the total amount uh, that is due on the mortgage. That's what a deficiency is. Now, a defici deficiency judgment is one in which the, uh, the mortgage company has already foreclosed or there's been a short sale where now the mortgage company is going after their amounts that are still due on the mortgage. This can be in a couple of different ways. In the state of California, the mortgage companies are allowed to go one of two ways. One is either through a judicial foreclosure or through an equity type of foreclosure. The equity type of foreclosure is when they would go after the property itself. I see. The, and in that situation, in California, the mortgage company is not allowed to go after the, uh, the debtor for anything much more than the house is worth. But in a ju judicial foreclosure, that's when the, uh, uh, the mortgage company is allowed to go after the debtor itself without implicating the property whatsoever. In this situation, the mortgage company can go after all of the, uh, the amounts due from the debtor. In the state of California, 99% of the time, they're going to go after the property itself. You should talk to an attorney when dealing with a judicial foreclosure of sorts. Uh, but for, uh, for an accounting purpose, it's just that. Well, then we'll, my question will be, do a homeowner still owe money to the lender after a short sale or foreclosure? 